Hello. In this video, we're going to make a um, Java application to send files from the server to the client, and we're going to use Java sockets. Uh, right here, I have a um, server class and a client class. Let's start with the server class. It's classic uh, private server socket, the way we did with the last videos, and then private or public static final integer which is a port and let's create our constructor try and here server socket equals new server socket and let's initialize it with the port now that we have our server socket the next thing is to accept connections here we are going to have a while loop and inside this while loop we're going to accept uh, ser clients so and I have socket client socket equals to server dot accept and then we're going to check if client socket dot is connected we're going to create a new thread to allow multiple users to connect at the same time. Let's start. Let's get back in here and create a new runnable. And in here, the we can create um, client sockets. I'm gonna call it client socket. And this will allow me to do some actions for a single client. So client equals to new this and we're gonna pass the client socket now we can call it client connection be better alright so this client first thing it would do is to send file it's just a method that we're going to uh, code later on so let's create this class create class Okay, so this it would take a private um, socket and then it would take a private data input stream and a private data output stream because the uh, server would send and receive messages between him and clients. So we have that. Let's create our constructor using this and try Let's initialize our input stream new data input stream new buffer then get the socket get input stream same for the output stream equals new data output stream and socket dot get output stream and let's add the catch clause and once we have that we are going to have the method that we have created here, which is send file. So this method would basically uh, send menu to the client. Then we're gonna have an index where the client will uh, select um, a specific file. So get selected file index, and then uh, we're going to send the selected file to the client using the index that they have picked. Let's create these methods. So for the send menu string menu equals to just gonna do this. Gonna add a line break here and now I have uh, a folder here, server that is a subfolder of files that contains two files. These are the files that the server can send, so let's try to read those files in a dynamic manner. To do that, I'm going to create a file list. I'm going to import this, and I'm going to call file, our new file. I'm going to add um, server.files.path this variable I'm going to create it later and then list files 
let's go ahead and create this variable here and it's going to be under files server alright back to the client connection now that we have our list of files um, it would be good if we send to the client the number of files that we have so let's do this and send file list length and then we can add signature here and then we can sign send the files after preparing our menu so for I and then here files list dot length and menu plus equals string dot format and here we're gonna have an integer then the name of the file and then a line break it's going to be i plus one and then it's going to be file list dot i dot get name all right so we have built our menu here and then we can send it to the client all right so now that we have sent our menu we need to get the selected uh, file index it's not going to be a big deal it's just going to be an index uh, it's going to be reading the index from the client so string input equals to uh, input dot read utf and then what we do is we're going to convert it to an integer and reduce one because we have added one here so uh, return integer dot parse input and then minus one okay now that we have our index we can send the file that the user selected it's going to be the same thing we're just going to have our list file list here and then file selected file equals to file list of that index and once we have that we are going to read the content so list of string file or uh, file lines equals to um, files dot read all lines and we're going to read the lines of the selected file dot to path okay so once we read all the lines what we do is we will um, join all the f all the lines into a one string so string file content equals to string dot join and we're going to join it with a line break and get the file lines now we can send this file content to the client so out the right right utf and we can send this add a signature and then put all this between a try catch all right so now the server can send the file now let's go back to the server here going to add um, a signature and then back to the client. The client is going to be the same as the client connection. It's going, there's going to be a socket and there's going to be an input stream and an output stream. So let's take those. I'm going to create a constructor and we're going to initialize our socket. We'll also new socket 27.0.0.1 and then server.port and the second step would be to initialize the input stream and the output stream I'm just going to copy those from here and then we're going to get some input from the user so we'll need a scanner private scanner scanner and we'll initialize it here scanner equals new scanner system.n and I'm going to add catch clause after the client is here we're going to get uh, the file so to get the file the first thing would be to read the uh, menu since the server here so the server here 
when send in the menu it sends the length of the files or how many files it has and then the menu so let's read those two elements string um, files len equals to input dot read utf and we're gonna convert that to an integer so max files equals to integer dot parse files length now that we have our maximum of files we can um, try to read the menu so string menu equals to input dot read utf now that we have read the menu we can print it so system dot out dot print ln uh, sorry menu and um, after reading the menu we can prompt the user to uh, select an option and to do that I'm going to create an integer user selection and then a boolean is selection correct equals to false and then I'm going to do a while loop while not correct what we would do here is uh, we're going to read the user selection or first uh, ask the user to write or select a file so select file number and then we are going to get the user selection equals to scanner dot next int after we get the user selection the is selection selection correct is going to be uh, a comparison so we're going to check if the user selection is greater than zero and user selection should be less than maximum files Ma less or equal okay so we have our user selection here um, if this is true this is going to be false and we can break now that we have our user selection we can send it out to the client so out dot write utf and user selection after sending the selection to the user the server would read that value and send out our file so the client here would be expecting to read the file content so let's get the file content equals to input dot read utf and now let's print the file content file start and then file end between those two we're going to print our file content um, okay let's do this for now and let's add the exception okay sounds good now let's create our main new client and same for the server new oops new server and let's run our server then let's run our client I'm gonna split those here Alright, so we have our menu here. If I input, for example, 5, it's going to reprompt me to enter a new number. Let's try to enter 1. Oh, so that's the file content. Uh, here we have hello.txt. Go back here, that's the content. Let's try to get the hello to. I'm going to rerun the client. Okay, I'm going to ask for the 1 number two and there's the content there's one more thing to do in the client is after getting or sending the file we should disconnect so we'll need here after sending the s we're going to client.close and here we'll basically just close the input stream output stream and the socket 
that's it if you enjoyed this video click the like button if you have uh, any comments or uh, any suggestions for the next video feel free to add them in the comments that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one